Hello, welcome to Board Games with Neuromas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. It's time to take a look at Magna Storm from Foreland. And I'm excited about this one. It looks amazing from the pictures I've seen. And it's a really heavy box. <laughs> a lot of stuff in here. And this is, from what I understand, it's a quite sort of heavy um, Euro game, basically. Now, Foreland did release uh, Terra Mystica and, and Gaia Project, which are two of my favorite games, right? Um, but uh, yeah, from what I heard, this is not similar to Gaia Project. So we'll see how it <laughs> how it looks. These are some playboards, maybe? Um, they are not, yeah, they, they look a bit weird. Uh, interesting. And here's some, I think these are the playboards, actually. Because these are sort of different colors. And I think it's like a spaceship. I think the story here is that we land on some, some planet and then we are going to try to, I don't know, uh, get resources and so on from it. Could this be connected perhaps? Uh, no, not really. Uh, so this is some kind of track. I guess this is for three players and this is for four players or something like that. A lot of boards. Let's see, here's the main board it looks like. Let's put it out here. I think it's quite large. Let's see. It also is double sided, so perhaps it has to do with the number of players. I would assume that's that's often how it is, right? So well, just this board looks amazing. Um, so we have. Uh, it's hard for me to get all of it in in the camera at once, but I'll try. So we'll do that, and uh, yeah. So we have some. Thing happening here in the middle, this nice sort of icy, yeah, like a desolate, uh, desolate planet we landed on. It looks like. And let's see here. We have some a big tile. I guess it will go in the middle. I'm just guessing now because I haven't played this, of course, but it looks like it. Here we have some characters. Basically, they have symbols and so on. They probably have different abilities and all that. This is admin, this is science, so I guess could these perhaps be sitting up here? Maybe, yeah, probably. <laughs> Interesting. Then we have another big board. Looks like this is going to take a big table. Uh, wow. And this actually looks like it's going to, might could put these in here. And you can have, once again, this looks like you can have these characters up here. Wow, so many boards, <laughs> and they're nice quality. And once again, it seems like this is for like uh, less players and so on, which is nice. I like when games scale uh, a bag. So we're going to draw something um, randomly, and baggies, bunch of them, nice. And all the wooden stuff you can ask for. Here we go. So we have. I guess these are player colors. Sorry for the sound here, but I'll rip one of these open. And we'll take a look at this. These components, and they do remind me, of course, of Gaia Project uh, with these markers. But we also have some kind of person, I guess. And yeah, that's about it. And a bunch of different colors here. And we have, uh, oh, pink is a rare color to be a play color. I have some cubes, more cubes, and even more cubes. I love that. So, really colorful stuff, uh, and it's not done yet. We have another set of thingies here. And these look like, these really look like um, Gaia Project stuff. Because this is plastic, and it's the same kind of sort of uh, thick, what should you call it, like solid plast plastic. This looks almost like a turtle. Wow, look at that Draco. There's turtles in this game. <laughs> so there's a bunch of these. Maybe some kind of cities or something, I don't know. And they also come in, yeah, so these are the four player colors, right? And I like that. I think this is a good idea. I, I, I'm not an expert on this at all, but I think if you're colorblind, I think you have issues with like um, red and green and yellow, these standard colors in games. I think these are much better. That's that's what I heard uh, from people that are colorblind, but I'm not sure. 
Then we have some cards. Um, they seem to be in German. Uh, now I got this from uh, Foiland, so thank you very much for sending this to me. Uh, I did meet them at Essen Spiel, but then they were sold out on this game. Uh, so they sent me one now instead. But I hope it's not in German. If it is, I'll just have to translate, I guess. We'll work that out, but we'll see. Uh, I do know some German, but it seems like these are in German, yeah. The box actually has like both English and German text on it. But yeah, we can work this out. Oh, no, no, here's English. Oh, okay. So, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So there's, yeah, yeah there's cards for German, there's cards for English case. Because this is the same, I think. Holy aus ein Sekto, retrieve four trolls to the lab from I think it's the same thing. I think this is the same. Okay, welcome to Nira must try to translate German. Fun show. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so we have English course, there. I'm happy about that. Here we have, it looks like characters uh, with different abilities and so on. Uh, that's interesting. And pretty basic artwork, but I think it, it works well with the theme here and all. It's a bunch of different characters. I don't know if you, I guess you will have more than one. I guess you will have a few in your ship and so on. Now I'm guessing again, of course, but makes sense. Uh, as there were so many of them. Let's see, here's some small cards. And let's see. Um, so these are numbered actually. These are in number order. That's interesting. And okay, so this is back or. I'm confused. I don't know what these are. <laughs> they, that were weird. They all look like this. Okay. There's, there's a, a reasonable explanation once I dive into the rules and learn the game, of course. And I'll try to learn this game and, and try it out with my friends pretty soon here because I'm excited too. But then again, there's so many games that I want to play. So we'll see. But uh, hopefully we can get a, a gameplay video of this soon as well. So here we have more of the same. But these have another symbol. They have like different numbers here, so I guess they some sort of resources or something. So that's the content of the box. A lot of stuff. Um, the game is for, from two to four players. Uh, and it says here it's from 70 to 100 minutes, which is not that long, I think. I thought this would be more of a complex long game, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, so all the stuff out here, it looks nice. I'm excited to try it out. Hope you like this short unboxing of Magna Storm. And well, Draco's kind of covering. There we go, Draco. So people can see what it, what the name is, game of, name of the game is. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Breathe in. Look into these eyes. Subscribe to the channel. Now, exhale. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.